Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Suicidal Nuked, and... Ah, oh, crud! One of these days I'm gonna add my Corsair Utility Engine to my, uh, startup stuff. <laughs> One of these days. It'll happen, I promise. Someday. But we have actually more important things to talk about than Killing Floor 2 today. That's right, today is a day when, uh, my commission has been completed. So we'll switch over to this one. This is who I commissioned it from, Lucia Lee. Uh, you can find uh, a link to this page in their description. Um, they have uh, a Twitter as well. We can go check out the Twitter uh, link tree and all that kind of stuff. Commission info you can find over here. It's like a... Anyway, here's, here's their pricing and all of that looks really really good it's all super super cool now the important thing here that we want to show off is right here this is mine this one's mine so I have a transparent background over here as well but this is this is mine I have the commercial rights for this uh, I'm allowed to use it for for my YouTube channel and all of that so it's pretty cool I think it looks fantastic um, this does mean that we're going to be able to get started on uh, the new channel now as well. So that's really, really cool. But I think it, I think it looks really, really great. Uh, all of her art looks really, really great for the most part. I mean, some things I'm not a super big fan of, but, you know, um, that's probably more because the person they're drawing it from just wanted something that I don't particularly care for uh, rather than, um, you know, her particular set of skills. Her style, you know. But, um... Yeah, it looks really, really great. So, I paid $100 for uh, what I got, which, if you look at their pricing sheet, um, I ended up getting the $75, like, simple full body, um, plus a small price bump for, um... Uh... Whatchamacallit, for commercial rights? With credit, so I have to, to credit her in like uh, my channel and stuff like that, um, which I'm I'm completely 100% totally okay with. Uh, that's not a problem to me in, in the slightest. I'm I'm more than happy to provide a uh, a more than uh, you know you know a raving review for it. You know I'm I'm highly highly pleased with what I got. Uh, she was really, really e like easy to work with as well. Uh, the only one problem that I would say I had with the entire experience, and it's like such a minor experience or such a minor problem, but the only one problem I would have with it, but the whole thing, if I had to pick one thing, um, would be that after I paid, I didn't get the, uh, I, I didn't get confirmation of her having received payment of it. Um, which, you know, I, I messaged her and I was like, hey, just want to make sure that, uh, you know, you got the payment and everything's going up smoothly. And she was like, oh, sorry, I, you know, forgot to message you or whatever and let me know that she's working on the sketch. And then a couple, like, a couple hours later, I got the sketch back and, you know, things started moving. So, like like I said, just a, an, an incredibly minor problem. Um, it just kind of, uh, when, when you're trusting some random stranger on the internet, it definitely kind of, ex like, exacerbates that problem because you don't know that uh, you can trust them, you know, you, you, you don't know anybody personally who has it, there's no way to know that they're not scamming you or whatever. So not having that communication, um, I wouldn't even call it not having the communication because like as soon as I messaged her, I, I got a response back pretty quickly, you know, um, but not having that uh, like confirmation of, of kind of like what's happening along the way, it, it can make you feel a little bit... Uh, a little bit nervous, <laughs> for sure. But then at the same time, you know, you're paying on uh, on PayPal, or uh, I believe she takes Venmo, but don't quote me on that. PayPal or something else. I can't remember what it was. It's it's uh, <laughs> the, the the memory of it is gone. Uh, PayPal or something else. I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say for sure what it was. Um, and you know, if if you don't get it, then then PayPal will happily refund it. So it's not like you're really taking a financial risk on so much but it can be a little bit uh, 
anxiety inducing but again like I said I, I messaged her and she responded let me know what was going on and I got the sketch and then uh, a few days after I got the sketch which is today now you know I got the finished product um, all in all like you know one tiny little minor issue along the way does not a bad experience make uh, it was much better than I was expecting going into commissioning somebody I, I, I don't have any experience with or were um, you know any kind of uh, personal connections with I've commissioned friends or friends of friends in the past but uh, to, to commission somebody who I have never seen before have never you know nobody in my life has used before for anything um, this was the first time experience and it was a lot better than I was expecting. She was, she was very kind, very responsive. Um, my one critique, again, would be a, a little bit more transparency along the process. Just to kind of say what's going on, but uh, that, that's, that's more of a... I mean, that's more of a customer service thing than a, you know, artwork commission thing, right? And the artwork was fantastic. Uh, for the price that I paid, you know, to have commercial rights to it as well, like, I, I'm... I'm, I'm, it, <laughs> I, I, I almost feel like I'm, uh, you know, it's a, it's a steal of a deal, you know, it's a steal of a deal. Super, super pleased with it. Everybody who I've shown it to is also very like, you know, wow, it looks great. Like, that's awesome, you know, looks really, really cool. A couple of friends of mine have shown interest in, uh, wanting to commission things from her as well. Um, so, you know, I, I have confirmation that I'm not just, uh, insane. And that it actually looks pretty good. But, uh, yeah, it feels good. It feels good to have it. Um, you know? I, I didn't feel very, uh, I, I, I guess the way that I'll say it is, um, I didn't feel very, I don't know. I don't even know how to say it, because like, like I said, it was, it was a minor issue. If I had to pick one thing that that kind of made me concerned along the way, it, it was the, the lack of, um, god, I missed every one of those, eh? It would have been the lack of, uh, what's the word for it, like, you know, unprompted sort of transparency, but again, you know, I want to reiterate and make sure that it is as clear as I can make it that, uh, at no point in time would, would she not have responded to a question if I were to have sent it to her, you know? Like, I asked her and she got back to me very, very soon. Um... So it was, uh, Got some ammo here. yeah, just, just kind of all in all, good experience. Very, very, very happy with it. Um, highly, highly, highly recommend if you guys have any kind of stuff you're looking for. Um, I paid a hundred bucks. Like I said, that was for a, uh, pretty like large project with commercial rights. Um, for like, I think she just like icons and stuff, you know, we, we have it open. Like, let's go, let's go take a peek here. Not there. Let's take a peek. Let's take a peek. I'm not gonna bring you along because I don't really want to. Uh, I, don't, I don't really want to. Um, okay, we're gonna go over here. Commission info. <laughs> yeah, she does like bust icon stuff for like thirty bucks or whatever, which is like pretty dope. Chibi and cartoon stuff again, like thirty bucks. Like, I mean, what more? What more can you ask for if you got? Uh, an avatar that you want designed or something like that like I'm probably I'm probably not going to anybody else I have a couple of other artists who I uh, I met on this uh, whole process of finding people to, to like finding somebody to get me a commissioned artwork for the channel and all that um, I found a couple of other people along the way who I also really like their art styles um, I haven't used them, so I, I, don't, I don't. Again, I don't have any experience. I'm not gonna give them any kind of uh, business because I don't. I can't trust them, you know, until I've gone through it myself. Um, so I, I'm, they're not gonna be my my sole artist going forward. But I probably there there's there's a pretty dang good chance that uh, I'll be using them again in the future. Just just because I'm really really pleased with it, you know. Like if I'm looking at like thumbnails or something for. For a future game, you know, like yeah, <laughs> you know, like fifty bucks or whatever for for a thumbnail for a, a game that I'll, I'll end up running. You know, not not necessarily 
right now, but but if I'm starting to make money on YouTube or whatever in, in the next year or two or whatever, you know, yeah, absolutely. I'm I'm more than happy to, to go back to that, you know. Now I have uh I want to get a commission for my D and D group, my old D and D group, um, and uh, I don't, I don't think like another artist that I found in this process. I think that their art style kind of matches a little bit more to towards what I would be looking for personally for that. Um, but I don't, I, you know, it's, it's not for a lack of them being able to do it. Just in my opinion, somebody else being a little bit more suited to that. But then their art style, I don't think, is is as good for. The YouTube stuff that, that I kind of want either, so. Anyway. That was my experience with it. We got it going on now. Everything's nice and beautiful. It looks great. I'm so, so happy with it. I hope you guys also like it because that kind of matters when I'm making YouTube stuff, right? I don't know when we're going to be starting with the new channel uh, exactly. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't give you a date, you know? Um... Probably next week sometime is my guess. Um, it might be the week after that, though, depending on how much we can go get going on here. Because uh, I've also got the uh, the Minecraft server, the multiplayer Minecraft server that I'm kind of like co-running, sort of. Uh, which is also taking up a little bit of my time. Uh, and that's kind of getting accelerated here because uh, just just like a couple of reasons that we're going to talk about in, I don't know, some video where it's more relevant. Um, but that stuff's kind of getting accelerated, so I have a little bit of extra work on that front to kind of get done as well um, that I would like to have done. And then uh, just, just like a lot of stuff kind of going on in my life right now, a lot of work to be done, which is awesome because that's what I wanted. Um... It's so so awesome, but uh, so I can't give you an exact date. It's gonna be next week or the week after for sure though uh, And we're gonna be having uh, One or two minecraft videos a week one or two runescape videos a week Yamjack tries on whatever days I decide on it uh, gunfire reborn will be returning on that channel um, Might stream some more deaths gambit and monster hunter not sure. I'm not. I'm not sure. Streaming is a little bit of a uh, an iffy kind of thing at the moment because that's that's taking up a lot of my time. That's a very structured thing. Not very not structured necessarily. It's a very temporally constrained thing, you know. Like uh, two to five. That's that's the time that I'm streaming. That's not really. I got. I got to work on the other stuff. Get a little bit more comfortable in in the the new stuff that's gonna be going on first. See if I even want to, to get in streaming. I'm, I'm kidding. I've, I really want to. I have so much fun streaming. Um, but, uh... Oh my days. What the actual... Are we gonna... Wow. I haven't died wave one suicidal in... So long. I got... Two kills. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, it's the perfect storm, right? God. Well, you know. Sometimes sometimes you just you just you just die. You know? Sometimes you just die. The mission is underway. Now, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what, it, I, I couldn't give you a date, but uh, soon, 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 soon. Um, lots of work to be done, so that's really, really cool. Uh, we have the avatar. I'm currently now waiting on primarily just the. Uh, oh, I love, I love Zed time and getting those corpses falling all around you. Oh, it's so good. Uh, currently, just waiting on another commission that I got going on for my Minecraft thumbnails. Uh, which I think are looking pretty okay. Um, and, uh, yeah. And then, 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 then we can get started. But I have to work, I have to wait on that. I don't think we're too far off that. Uh, the person who I'm commissioning from, again, is a friend of mine. 
Um, so my experience with them will probably vary if, if you were to commission them. I don't know if they're taking commissions or not. Um, but I don't, I don't think they are. Um, you know, because cause I'm, I'm a little bit more lax with him and he's a little bit more lax with me and everybody's kind of just having fun and, and, and enjoying themselves, right? And then also, you know, getting paid. Uh, because it is work. Um, but anyway, so uh, he, he hasn't really been working on it too much. He's been having some, like, just a lot of work, right? Job stuff that's been uh, taking up his time so I haven't been I haven't, I haven't been pressuring him to get it done but uh, I might I might end up uh, probing a little bit to see you know how it's kind of coming along I don't want to I don't you know again it's uh, we're friends right I don't want to, to put I don't want to be pressuring him into the commission or whatever and uh, get him to do it when when he's obviously got a lot going on in his life um, and then I also don't want him to feel like obligated to you know, because because we're friends. You know, I, I think that his his mental health comes before uh, you know my customer satisfaction, because like we're friends. Um, but it would be nice to have. That's all I'm waiting on at this point, though. And again, I don't think we're that far off. Uh, I think I think it's like yeah. I think it just has to draw some lines and stuff, and then uh, that's it <laughs> for the most part. Um, so uh, yeah, that, that that's that's kind of what we're waiting on at this point. That and then me to get off my butt and actually get the videos finished. I haven't actually I have edited one Minecraft episode entirely, other than adding in the music and then rendering it. Um, so I've got to add in a little bit of background music and and then render the video out. Uh, and then I've edited a second video, no music yet, no render. Um, well, obviously no render. Um, no music and it's not quite done yet I gotta get a little bit more recorded but I haven't been doing Minecraft stuff just cuz like I don't want to overwhelm the amount of, uh, of content that uh, that I can kinda of, you know get out there right and I don't want to end up starting up uh, the new channel and have like weeks of a backlog that just doesn't sound like fun um, but yeah, progress. Progress is being made at the very least, which is cool. I was looking on because uh, I, I have issues with talking, right? As as I've as I've talked about before, ironically enough, um, I have issues with talking. So if I go to a store or something like that, oftentimes I can't actually talk. So I was thinking if it was possible to uh, order cannabis online. So they don't have to like go into the store and like talk to people, because like that's like a major <laughs> point of contention for me, right? Uh, and it is, it is like actually possible to do that. You, you, I can, I can order weed from my uh, from my government <laughs> online, which is I, I just think it's kind of funny. I think it's kind of funny, you know, in a in a in a, in a kind of uh, twisted way. You know, because like a lot of people, you know, their governments will send them to jail for like, you know, a decade. And then my government is like, you know, selling it, <laughs> which is, uh, I don't think morbidly funny is the right word. Cause, th cause that's more to, to do with like death and, um, whatnot, but, uh, kind of, kind of a similar thing, right? Um, but uh, anyway, so when I if you do order it, there's like a flat, like six dollar minimum delivery fee or something like that, and I'm like, ah, do I want to pay six dollars for the convenience of not having to talk to somebody? And then the other, and then you also have to be there when it gets delivered with like you know a valid ID, um, otherwise it's not gonna get left at your house you can't you, you know you can't just order it as like a, a 15 year old or whatever and then uh it gets to your house and you're like uh, i don't have my id and they're like well I'm, it's for my mom you know <laughs> you know so you gotta you gotta actually have an id when you're there and then like sign the stuff and whatever so there, there is still kind of like some talking going on 
but that's a little bit easier to manage. Um, however, if you know if I miss the delivery or something like that, uh, then I, I still have to go to you know to the Canada Post, you know to to wherever I can go for uh, to the post office, and then like still end up talking to people and pick it up, show my ID, and still go through all that same process, right? So I'm like, I don't know, six bucks for the convenience of uh, not 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 guaranteeing. That I don't have to talk to anybody, but making it much more likely. I'm like, I don't know if that's a deal I'd really want to take, you know? Everybody in my household is an adult, so if I wasn't here or whatever, you know, anybody could sign for it, which is good, you know? Um, but I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm also going to give up on gummies, I think. You know? Go for more of a, uh, you know. I don't, I don't need the sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I just I just I just need the the CBD, you know. But uh, I don't know. It, it's a tempting it's a tempting thing to do though because I, it, it does mean that I I probably won't have to talk to anybody. You know, I'd, I'd get a message or whatever when uh, when it's out for delivery. You know, I I they they tell me that uh, it's out for delivery and then I I just wait for them to deliver it and, and sign for it, right? Or if I'm not here, I, I tell people like, hey, you know, my weed's coming. <laughs> uh, make sure you sign for it if it gets here and uh, I'm not here. But like, I'm, I'm home most of the time anyway, because COVID, so. Which is another thing, because it's kind of like, uh, you know, do you really want to uh, like go to the dispensary during COVID? Probably like safer to um ordered anyway. So I don't know. I'm kind of convincing myself to order my cannabis online. <laughs> I don't think there's anybody in this house who's going to be upset. I, mean, I haven't actually talked to my parents about it yet, but uh, I don't really think they care. You know? I mean, the only times I'm able to talk to them is when I'm, you know, under the influence of CBD, so I'm pretty sure they'd be able to, to find their, you know, it in their heart to accept the, uh, the usage of it, you know, my grandmother uses CBD, you know, like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident in the, uh, in the okayness of it, and then, if they're not okay with it, well, can you accept it anyway? I need, I need, uh, you know, so, I haven't talked to them, it hasn't come up, you know, I'm not hiding it, I'm not, uh, I'm not one to hide things, I'm never, I've never been one to hide things, you know, I'm always the kind of person, uh, you know, for the most part, as long as if you ask if you ask a question, I'm gonna answer it. So make sure you don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer to. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't keep secrets. You know, so, I mean, some some secrets are are important to be kept, right? Like, you know, I have a lot of uh, friends who uh, tell me their secrets and stuff, and I've got to keep those secrets. And a lot of things are just, you know, I don't have to broadcast it to the whole world that. Uh, Trying to think of an example here, but I can't really. But like, you know, some things just don't need to be talked about, right? Like some some things, yeah, okay. Uh, for instance, right? I don't know. I I, I can't really think of anything that I, I wouldn't. It kind of it kind of depends on on who you are too, right? So like, if you guys were to ask me credit card numbers. Right? You don't you don't need to know my credit card numbers. Like that's It's not a, it's not a secret. It's just you don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um and then uh other people's business is isn't mine to discuss as well like uh again, friends use me as a confidant quite often and uh I don't talk about that stuff. Family as well uses me as a confidant, I'm not, you know, talking about that stuff to everybody. I'm not broadcasting their secrets. Other people are less open than I am, and I recognize that. And that's okay. You know, it's okay. It's fine. Um, it's fine. Money, anyone? But uh, at the same time, you know, I'm uh, not keeping secrets is different from, you know, announcing everything that you're doing, right? I haven't announced to them that I have, you know, I don't have any now because they're all gone. <laughs> 
Um, but I don't I haven't announced to everybody, but I also don't keep it a secret. It's kind of like, um, you know, the whole, like, being gay thing. A lot of people are like, oh, are you gay or are you straight? I'm like, it just doesn't matter. You know, the, the, the people who care don't matter, and the people who matter don't care, right? Which is like a cheesy line, but at the same time, it's kind of true, right? Like, you don't have to go tell everybody that you're gay. Not everybody needs to know that, unless unless it's relevant to them, right? It's not really important, right? Which isn't like an anti-gay thing, it's more of a, anyway. Um, it's just a lot of things don't need to be announced, because they just don't matter. It's just not important enough. Anyway, that's a good deal for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, if you like it, subscribe to see more of the future commentary. If you have anything to say, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.